a pleasure to meet you and talk about this film. Were you aware of Xavier Dolan? Had you seen his films uh, ahead of working with him? I uh, watched his films when I first got the script, and I was told that Xavier would like me would like me to consider playing the part, or we opened that conversation anyway. Uh, and so I watched uh, Mummy, and I watched Lawrence Anyways, and I watched Tom at the Farm, and I realised quite quickly kind of the the sheer talent and um, passion that this this auteur, this 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 filmmaker had. Um, uh, and yeah, so that that's when I first came across Xavier's work. In simple terms, is it daunting or easier to play an actor? I think it was. There were definite challenges with playing something that was so close to my life in many ways. You know, where where do you, how much do you draw upon you, and how much do you try and create a character? Um, and I think that. You know, I, I, I really, I found it a really exciting challenge. Um, and I found there were, the parallels were very, were kind of exciting to play, exciting to delve into, exciting to take moments from my own life, experiences from my own life, and just plant them in there at times was, uh, was satisfying. The narrative of the story is quite intertwined, so uh, how much did you collaborate with actors you might have not played with to discuss uh, their relationships with uh, Jacob Tremblay, etc.? So can you repeat that question? Yeah, sorry. I'm saying because the narrative is intertwined and mm. you might have not met other actors like uh, Jacob Tremblay on set, yeah. did you discuss uh, those relationships together? Uh, the J Jacob Tremblay came on to the movie after me, so I, never, mm. I still haven't met him. You will tonight, I probably. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think yeah. I hope he's going to be there tonight. Yeah. Um, and I didn't meet, to my great disappointment, Natalie Portman, who I've admired work of for a very long time. So there were three sections. I've only just met Tandy yesterday. So I always find that interesting when you've been working on something with people, and, and it's the first time you meet them is when you're doing the press for it. Um, but no, I think I just we just trusted in Xavier to carry us through and to have those conversations um, for us, because I'm not even sure that Jacob was on them, was cast quite yet when I when I started the movie, so I couldn't have that conversation with him. For you, what is the essence of, of the story of, of John Donovan? I think it's about, um, what's interesting about this movie is that when, when we've been talking about it, for, for Xavier it's one thing, for, for Tandy it's another, mm. for, um, for everyone, it seems to be a different thing, or and that's what I love about it. Is it had so many different, there's so many, uh, so much to take from it. I think. I, I think for me, it's about um, uh, private. It's about privacy. It's about your private. You, what you what you choose to show, what aspects of your personality you choose to hide. Um, the fact that we're not just one person publicly and one person privately. We're many different things around many different people. Um, and then who are we when we're left alone of an evening? That's what this is about. Well, that's a great answer. And finally, what gets you, you know, you're so busy with Game of Thrones, what uh, makes you excited about a role? What's the main ingredient that makes you want to take on? I still don't know. Mm. I don't know, honestly, it, it's so many things. It's like, who's the director? Who's the, what's the, it usually comes down to, is there a moment in the script where I feel that I, 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 my eyes light up when I'm reading it and I can see how it should be and I can see how it should be played and I get excited by it. It's usually that, but it's a combination of so many things. I still don't know why I go for particular things.